What's up guys, Josh from Extreme Truck and Auto. I'm hanging out with the homies from Top Notch Auto Works. They're our in-house tent vinyl and whatever gurus. They're the best in the business. If you're in the Casey area, definitely come check these guys out. They're gonna be doing some tent work on my perfectly mint WJ. We just decided that. So we're gonna get into it. They're gonna be peeling the front tent off the windows. I kind of want to go into why it costs money to peel tent. And then we're gonna kind of show you the process. So what we're gonna be doing is peeling front windows and then I'm putting 20% on the rest of them, which are already at 20, which drops it down to five. I'm not gonna get into the math because me math good, but yeah, let's get into it. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this little line. I'm trying not to touch it. It's hard to do without a camera, but right there, all the way across. So one thing that TNA has that's really cool is if you see it over there in the corner is a giant, plotter and what this is is they upload your vehicle my 2003 shit wagon basically into the plotter and it'll cut out the windows or cut out the tent to what the windows need so here basically what's going on is she's just going through and making sure that there's no adhesive left over on the window. And I'm sure it's also cleaning any dirt or debris and other things off the window as well. One thing Mel and James are really, really, really good at is their detail oriented stuff. I need to get in here for a vinyl video with these guys because it looks like paint lines. It is quite ridiculous the care to detail these two take. So now they've gone around and peeled the outer edge, what that plotter does is it basically cuts through the tent, but doesn't cut through the backside. So it's more of a scoring and you get these nice crisp, crisp edges. I'm looking forward to getting this on. And then if there's any edges they don't like, what they do is they trim them up and make them look nice and purdy. As you can see, James is over here applying the tent. Now, most shops use soap and water, or a lot of people do, but they actually use a mounting solution. The reason is, is it get, you get better adhesion and then it makes applying the tint a lot easier and smoother of a process. And you can tell right here, basically the two differences in between the two. So you have the 20% on the quarter window and then the 20% over 20, making it five on the window next to it, just to kind of show you the difference. And what I mean by 20%, 5%, 50%, all that stuff is how much light it lets through. So what we have going on here is this area, she's basically already shrunk to the window. The way they do it is they lay the film so that way the tint is on the glass and the adhesive and ever the plastic backing is out. So that way it'll fit to the curve. And the reason why the plastic backing is out is so when they place it on the inside of the window, it is formed to that shape already. Because if you were to put the adhesive face down and you go to put it on the inside, the curve is basically the wrong direction. So instead of following the window, it'll be going the opposite way. Now, one thing you do want to keep in mind after getting your windows tinted is there may be a wave or some bubbles or stuff like that under the tent. They will go away. It takes 48, 72 hours roughly for them to fade out. And what that is, is basically the mounting solution, the soap and water. But like I said, they don't use soap and water. They actually use the a mounting solution is evaporating from behind the film and allowing that film to, in the adhesive to stick to your window. So you wanna give it two to three days or until they go away, the water behind it goes away to roll down your windows because you don't wanna go making them upset because you rolled down a window and screwed up their job. Same thing for all of the windows on this beast. They're gonna do the shrinking process get it ready to apply, slap it on. I say slap it on, it's way more <laughs> of a process than that. So what you see going on here is actually, they are squeegeeing all of the mounting solution out from behind the tent. So they have these small little squeegees which are designed for it. And what they do is they run it on the backside of the film which is the side that does not have the adhesive. And they squeegee as much of the water as they possibly can out of it. Now it's not gonna get all of it. And like I said, there, you may see a few ripples or a bubble here and there, but they will go away. You gotta remember that they will go away. 
And if they don't, one thing I love about Top Notch is they 100% stand behind their work. So the, they'll get you taken care of one way or another. And as you guys know, customer service is a big thing with me and they have some of the best when it comes, ah, forget it. They have the best when it comes to wrap and tint and all that stuff. That's why I really am happy they work out of the extreme building and do all of our tent and vinyl for us is because honestly they're the best in the kansas city area it's not even close in my opinion one thing i do want to mention is they are human there is an element that can get in there you know nothing is 100 percent perfect but they are damn close now if there's anything you don't like or you know any imperfections or anything like that you see like i said they will get you taken care of they they really are amazing at what they do. I can't stress that enough. So they're the only people who will ever do tent work on any of my vehicles or vinyl at that matter. They're the ones who did the black in between the doors. And I'm sure they're gonna be doing a lot more on my, my mine and my wife's vehicle. What I'll do is I'll throw their Instagram and whatever else they have, go ahead and give them a follow. Check them out, they do a lot of really cool vehicles. Some of the stuff I haven't even seen on the road. They just, it randomly shows up here. It's really cool to watch them do and the transformations. If you guys wanna see me do a video of a wrap, let me know and I will get with them and we'll get some cool shots and kind of talk you through that process. But yeah, I'm gonna let them finish up what they're doing and we'll get some final shots and that'll be it. All right, so I'm up front now after getting the work done on the Jeep. And what I'm gonna show you is basically what I'm talking about ceramic film and the difference in between that and just the dyed film. What I have on here is basically a liquid crystal film. And what this does is it shows heat. So I'm gonna turn this on. As you can tell, there's this is just glass. So watch how quickly this heats up. You see the light on behind it and boom there's your heat. So basically it's showing you how quickly that heat changes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cool this back off. This is your 20% regular film. So this is just basically a dyed film. No heat rejection really. So you'll see it'll heat up nearly as fast as the other window does. Well, we're gonna roll this around, and as you can tell, it's gotten lighter. But the thing is, is this has 70% ceramic. And what that ceramic is, is basically these little tiny ceramic particles are in there, and what it does is it helps reject heat. They use ceramics and stuff like that, actually, on the space shuttle, so on and so forth. But it's a really cool technology that they've been coming out with recently. And if you watch, this is all done in real time. Still wait and see how much slower that is going. It's not even turning blue yet. By now, this thing would already be blue. And this is the old carbon ceramic. That's basically our base level ceramic that we, our base level tint that we use here. Uh, we do have a nano ceramic film that they applied to my Jeep and. I'm excited to get it tested out. But yeah, it shows you guys the value of the ceramic tint as opposed to your regular dyed film. One of the benefits you guys will get with the ceramic is in the summer, it helps keep the heat out. But one thing people don't realize is in the winter, it helps trap the heat in. So there's that benefit. Another thing that I've personally noticed is it helps with fogging of your windows. Now, it doesn't get rid of fogging, but it definitely helps. So when I turn on my defrost, it's gone like that. So that's kind of it, a brief overview on tinning the process, what goes into pooling tint. So if you guys ever have any vinyl or tint work or anything you need done, come see us at Extreme Truck and Auto. We'll hook you guys up with the Top Notch Auto Crew and we'll catch you guys on the next one.